So, as far as I know, in Iceland there is no army and policemen, they do not have guns. And uh, in light of those uh, events around the world, do not Icelanders afraid of some kind of situations here? No, not really. But there are a lot of foreigners coming here. True. Yeah. Uh, so, mo mostly tourists, but some... It's kind of hard to smuggle stuff into Iceland. Yeah. And, and, and you're not getting any weapons here. Yeah, and, and also, yeah, I mean, there's some immigrants, but most of them are just hardworking, good people. Yeah. Most, More over the world. Yeah, uh, most people anywhere in the world, most people just want to have a peaceful life and have opportunities to raise their families and raise their kids. Nobody wants war except, unfortunately, people that make money out of wars, which are big weapon producers and even governments that uh, make money from waging wars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not gonna mention any countries, but he, everybody knows who, who, who I'm talking about. And it's not just one nation, it's a few of them. Um, why would anybody come to Iceland and make a terrorist attack? Um, we are population of Des Moines, Iowa, or something like that. Yeah. It makes no sense to attack anybody here. Yeah. And even if it would happen, I refuse to live my life in, in fear. Yeah. Um, because then the terrorists have won, right? That's what they want, to strike terror. Um, even when I go to big cities, when I lived in London, for example, somebody tried to murk me there once. After that, I wasn't afraid to walk in the streets of London because I, I refused to live my life in, in fear. Uh, uh, as I understand, it was a story about a guy with a knife and you were yeah. with your friend yeah. and you hit him with a bag with a beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, in fact, I found this story and I posted somewhere. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. So I was, I was going to a, a goodbye party for a very good friend of ours called Alex, which is actually in this band here. Loud Blast. He's the bass player of Loud Blast. He's a French guy, but lived in London. He was moving back to Paris and he had a goodbye party, so I was going there with uh, a girl that I shared a flat with and um, we we're just about to enter the train station and this guy comes up to me and like, he's like, hey, hey, you know, stopping us and me being a stupid Icelander, I think he's gonna ask us what the time is or whatever. But then he grabs my friend, pulls up a knife, like, give me your phones and your wallet. And I had a bag of beer and I was like, fuck this, I'm going to a party, I'm not going to be robbed right now. So I just smacked him in the head with the bag of beer and, and uh, he tried to, uh, he kind of, I, I could see he was very surprised, but he tried to, uh, when he kind of fell back, he tried to cut me, and cut a little bit in my face, but didn't leave a scar or anything. Uh, I don't know, permanent. Uh, then he ran away. I tried to run after him, but I'm not a very fast runner. So, uh, <laughs> so he got away, and uh, I went to the party. And uh, as far as I remember, it was a good night. And the beer was all right. Some of it, yeah. Uh, some of it actually exploded, but it was worth it. <laughs> Well, it this is an amazing story because it proves that maybe Icelanders have no fear about what is going on outside. They are sure about uh, today and tomorrow that everything will be fine. Yeah, we have a saying in Icelandic which uh, is Tata which means yeah, it which means yeah, that sort it out. Everything, yeah, everything will kind of sort itself out. Yeah. Figure but outable. <laughs> yeah, but of course it's a, it's a stupid way to think sometimes. Um, and in this case, maybe maybe it was a very stupid reaction, but it, it was just a reaction. I couldn't really think it's just something that happens. And, Immediately. Uh, and you just got to react. Um, and afterwards, I thought, I mean, I was very lucky that he didn't stab my friends or something. So maybe it was stupid. Uh, but Naive, but brave. <laughs> yes. Well, brave or stupid. I don't know. It, it, I, just, I, I just wanted to go to a party. God damn it, you know, you're not going to destroy my party. 